So my daughter says, Dad, I need something hot. Can you make something spicy? Make it hot. I can do that. I can do that. Nashville hot chicken. Let's make that. That's spicy. Gonna love it. So the first thing we're going to do here is fillet our chicken breast and get them into sandwich size pieces. What I like to do is cut them in half and then take off the ends uh, so that they're easy to put on a sandwich. Notice that I don't waste any of the meat, I use it all. Once the breasts are filleted, we're going to put them in a Pyrex or some type of air tight container. We're then gonna add our pickle juice, and uh, if you didn't see the video on the, how I made this pickle juice, that's linked up above. And then we're gonna put those in that airtight container and put them in the refrigerator for about two hours. Uh, two to four hours is good. Now we're gonna make the breading, and this is three cups of all-purpose flour and three tablespoons of salt. and then mix that all together. Next we're going to create our wash and that is two large eggs, a cup of buttermilk, and then two tablespoons of hot sauce, preferably vinegar based but you can use Frank's. I like to use the Crystal Louisiana but whatever you like, yeah, go ahead and use. Mix that up, and that's going to be our wash. Once the chicken's had time to marinate in the pickle juice, uh, we're going to take it out and put it into our breading, get it well covered, then add it to our wash, and also make sure that it's well coated. Once it's well coated from the wash, we're going to put it back into the breading. And then we're going to set it aside on a wire rack. We're going to repeat this process for every piece of chicken in our pickle juice. Then head on over to the air fryer to cook it and crisp it up. Once all the chicken breasts are coated with the breading and the wash, we're going to head on over to the air fryer, place them in the air fryer which was preheated at 375 for about 5 minutes with the crisping basket inside. Place the chicken breast in there evenly. I douse it with cooking spray to give it a nice golden crisp. Shut our crisping lid, set the air crisp to 375 for 20 minutes and wait. Once that's done, we will have nice crispy chicken breasts. We're going to take those out, set them aside for one to two minutes so they have a little chance to cool down, and then go ahead and start preparing our sandwiches. I like to start with either regular mayonnaise or a chipotle mayonnaise. Then I like to put some pickles on top of that. These are just kosher dill. From there, add your crispy chicken. And then our special sauce. There's a link to the sauce. This is just Nashville hot sauce. It's very hot, full of cayenne and paprika, but tastes excellent. Once that's done, I like to top it with lettuce. You can also use coleslaw, but I like lettuce. From there, add any other fixings you like, but as you can see, that sauce is just running off the plate. Add some french fries, and you've got yourself one tasty Nashville hot chicken. So there you go. Really simple and fast, tastes great. Add those pickles on there. Make sure you get that sauce nice and hot, and you're gonna love that Nashville hot chicken. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. 
If you'd like to subscribe to see what else I'm cooking, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But as always, I hope you're happy and healthy and thanks for watching. I hope to see you back here soon. And remember, never miss a meal. Bye.